Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel where we deal with the nonsense that is adulting and trying to make it a little bit more fun. Hi Cleo! Alright, so I might have a friend. I'm here in Nashville for the weekend. It's Thursday night. Um, I'm here at my friend's house. Look at her freaking... Look at her back room. It's so pretty. I actually kind of think I like it better at night. I'm actually, I'm sitting on her, her couch, but I think I actually like it better at night because of the lights, but anyway, ADD. Sorry, I was so surprised that the kitties came to see me. There's a bunch of feral cats, feral cats around um, my, uh, around this friend's house and I can actually see her cats in my room. There, you can see her kitty cat. Oh, he's gone. There he is. That's Sterling. Hi, buddy. He's proper indoor and his brother is indoors. So the boys aren't allowed outside, but anyway. I'm here for the next few days through the weekend here in Nashville with my best friend who I had not seen in so long. I was coming here, basically the same thing as like Savannah. Um, Savannah was a job interview and, and I just thought we'd make a trip out of it so I could test the town. And this is exactly the same thing with Nashville, Tennessee. Um, my best friend lives here in Nashville, so I'm just crashing with her. And then, um, and you'll actually see her. She has, a, she said that she's cool with the camera. So I kind of just didn't film at all today because it was kind of just nice to, first of all, I didn't get in until like six o'clock, but um, it was just really nice to hang out with her for the first time in so long. Tomorrow and Saturday at least, There'll be- I want why I always get the hiccups when I'm filming! Tomorrow we're going to Franklin because I have a job interview down there and then we're just gonna test out the town. She's getting ready for bed so I'm actually just quickly doing an intro here and then we're gonna go watch a movie and just not for the rest of the night. So I will pick you guys up tomorrow. Well, we've made it to downtown Franklin. I'm just trying to find a place to park a car. We, I say. You and me. Allie sat this one out. She woke up not feeling well today. Okay. Two hour parking. Why not right here? I mean, I guess there's a, I was actually on my way to the free garage, but why don't I just pull in right here? I kind of wish <laughs> Allie was here. Um, I could really use someone to, I could really use someone to talk about that interview with because like it's in the moments like these where the breakdown of my psyche really shows. Um, but, because like past Caitlin Gracia would have no problem with that job. I kind of really like it, the team's amazing. Um, but we gotta try out Franklin now. I do also want to put on other makeup. I'm looking a little bit like a ghost. Cat. Cat. Because I'm doing the things that make me joyful. I don't care about anyone else. It's also Nashville, Tennessee. Like if anyone's really gonna judge me, they can, they can judge me. Um. Oh, my keys are still in my car. Hang on. Okay. Um, I'm looking for my phone, which is I'm recording on.
it's been like 10 minutes now since I sat down to eat my ice cream. And like, thankfully I like it when it's melted. Um, but these three guys just woke, just walked up to me. And so it's been like 10 minutes since I sat down with the intention of doing this because I'm the kind of person who has to talk it out and nobody's here with me today. So I was just gonna use the camera. Also, this is like a stupid cute picture. I needed to talk it out because I just couldn't. I wasn't, I haven't been feeling myself today. I called like five people and no one picked up. My mom called me back, but, um, and that's fine because the other people are in different time zones. Like I'm not blaming anyone. I just, I needed someone to talk to. Um, and just as I sat down, three guys walked up to me. Two of them were like my age. Well, actually two guys walked up to me and then the second, the third walked up after. Um, but the two of them, one that came up and one that walked up later were my age. And then I guess they're dad generation. I guess I don't know if they're all related. Um, but they basically, they came up and asked me what a Presbyterian is, which I don't know. I know it's a, a branch of Christianity. I have no idea. I thought I was getting told to move. Um, but Basically, we just talked for a long time. By the end of it, um, they asked me what I was doing in town and, and yeah, if I was having a good day. And I told them I was in for a job interview. And at some point we ended up on the conversation of London. And it, like, anyway, um, we were talking for a while and it ended with them saying a prayer for me to their God, standing on these church stairs that, to a church that isn't even, that's none of our own. And I don't know what vibe I was giving off, but like all three of them knew instantaneously that like I needed some human interaction. And they came up and did the best, like each of them. Um, it was, what were their names? Walker, Kyle, and Lane, I think was the older man. They were all just so sweet and they know so little about me, but this somehow they were able to just ease my soul <laughs> and and they called a hawk to come swing down uh right as uh lane was right as the older man was saying like god please give her a sign and the eagle swarmed down on the on the tree or excuse me not an eagle a hawk which in native american totem is about guidance and freedom and i'm just like i saw it land and i was just like yeah this is whatever whatever prayer whatever they just called it just came here and now I feel all peaceful and calm and like the entire time they were there I was so not myself and I don't know if that's because I'm just getting older or if because I because of whatever this energy was I, I have no idea I need my I need my tarot deck where's my tarot deck I left it at home. That's what I need right now. I just feel so much better. And like, I still need to talk because I still don't know what I'm gonna do. The fact that these three men cornered me against locked church doors, and like, at least they were outside, but they had me completely blocked in. And I, for the first time in my life, that didn't make me super uncomfortable. Like, I wanted to know why they were here. And ultimately they were just leading up to a prayer, but which was super sweet. And I stand by what I told them. I don't really believe in the quintessential Christian God, but I do believe in ruling spirits. Hello. There's an e there's a hawk that just flew down and I was like, "Oh, look at that. It's the world's with me." But that's also why environment's like so important to me. I can't just jump especially coming off of a time in my life like South Korea. I can't just drop everything and move for a job that's period like I can't just I can't I could if I really had to if I like if my parents were dead and I had nowhere to go of course I could but so long as I have the ability to have a little bit more control in my life I would just the blind face of Christians and, and I'm not even saying that as a bad thing, just the 
universal faith they have that everything is going to work out the way it what the way it should because some controller of the world is watching over them it's just remarkable and that is something i kind of wish i had grown up with i am glad i was able to kind of find my own way there because i believe essentially the same it's just not a man in the clouds i believe in mother nature but the ice cream is better in <laughs> okay so now that the ice cream is done I do really like my hat. This hat I ordered from Korea and shipped it home so that I had it always. I would not have been allowed to wear it at school. So there was no purpose in having it in South Korea, but I wanted it for my life. And just now I, I accidentally photobombed a lady's photo. I was faced away from her. I didn't know, um, but she, uh, she was like, no, you, you can stay there. You're cute with your hat. I was like, oh, thank you. I'll still get out of your photo, but thank you. I do see what people mean about small town though. I, not continuously, but I have seen the same set of people a few different times in the last couple, few hours. 1799, that's when Franklin was founded. That's what that sign says. Wow. Um, anyway, I'm just gonna go drive around for a little bit and just kinda, eyeball the town as I go around. Fine furnishings, JJ. Actually, it looks like a set piece out of When Calls a Heart and it's excellent. Antique mall! Brick building. Okay, I need to pull over. The feral cat that Allie has befriended. Not so feral anymore. No. Nope.